Example 2. Vector and parameter equations of line in R2. Write direction vector for the given lines. So we have three lines here. If you notice, line L1 is the horizontal line. Now, the direction vector, as you have already seen in example 1, we can represent all kinds of lines with our direction vector, whether they are horizontal, vertical, or oblique. Okay. Now here, L1. So line L1 has direction vector of, well, we can write direction vector as this, right? Is equal to, we can use square brackets or parentheses. So let me use square brackets here. Now, how much do you move integer value moving right? So from here, we move, let's say, one unit, right? So we say one, comma, how much up? Zero. So that is our line one, one, zero, correct? Let's go to line two. Line two is where? The vertical line, right? Here, as you can see, you don't really move left or right. So we can say m here is equals to x, change in x is zero, right? But y value changes. Let's say one unit, correct? So we say one. I'm drawing my vectors here, but strictly speaking, these vectors, direction vectors, will be represented from origin with tail here at the origin and head pointing at your direction number, 0 and 1. So be conversant with these terms, head, tail, direction vector, and direction number, correct? Now let's move on to line number 3. Now line number 3 is an oblique line, so we say m is equals to here. So, so how do we move? We move 1 and 1, right? So this could be one which is positive direction and the other one going down. So that is minus 1. So that is the direction vector of line 3, right? So you can see how we move. We move like 1 and then like this, correct? So that is our direction vector for the given lines. So I hope it is now easy for you how to find the direction vector. Now, we'll move on to example 3 and try to give equation to our lines. Now, let me give you a concept. To give equation of a line, what do you need? You need a direction vector and just a point on the line. Correct? So once you have a point on the line, let's say this is our point on the line, right? So this happens to be a y-intercept also, right? So from here, that is a b value, y equals to mx plus b, we say minus 1. And then, you know the slope, right? So you can write y equals to mx plus b, get the equation in standard algebra. In vectors also, we do a similar thing, right? We take a point and add direction multiple, multiples of direction vector. We'll see that in example 2. But the first thing is to understand how to get direction vector from a given line and what is direction vector. So by now, I hope you understand a direction vector is represented at the origin, right? The line could be anywhere. And the tail of that is put at the origin and head is put at the direction number. And this direction vector can be scaled. This vector, for example, I could write this vector as also 4 minus 4. That is same as this. In general, I can write this vector as t times 1 minus 1, where t belongs to real numbers. So that is my general equation of the direction vector, which I am getting to. So whether the direction vector is this, or a scalar multiple of this, it is same. It gives you the same direction. Do you understand? And t could be negative. That's the beauty of this direction vector of a line. So these two lines, this line and this line, are actually the same lines. t could be plus 2 or it could be minus 2. Do you understand? I can also write this as t times minus 1 and 1, right? Does it make sense to you? See here, how? Let's take a point here, right? So we go x minus 1. Do you see that? And then 1 plus. So minus 1 and 1. So that is also the same line and the same direction vector. So I hope you understand we are not calling it a vector. It is a direction vector of a line. Okay? So be clear about it and you should appreciate the difference between vector and direction vector of a line. 
Thank you.